Wall Street Journal columnist Jeffrey Zaslow was a prolific, best-selling author and a frequent guest on this show. Jeffrey often wrote about the love that he had for his own three daughters and the love that he hoped he would see them find one day. Unfortunately, he was killed in a tragic car accident in February. His final book explored the loving relationship between fathers and daughters. It's called The Magic Room, and it is now out in paperback. And Jeffrey Zaslow's daughter, Jordan, is here to tell us about it. So nice to meet you, Jordan. Thank you, too. Thank you for having me. I know. I know it's been a hard eight months. Eight months ago, you lost your father. So how's your family doing and your sisters? Um, thank you for asking. We're doing, you know, we're doing the best we can. It's hard. Um, but we're very lucky to have each other, and we're very lucky to have you know, our friends and our family, they've been really wonderful. And it's been uplifting to see, you know, how supportive everyone has been. Yeah, and, and this last book, you, your dad really focuses on relationships and love and, and exploring, you know, this is all in the, the magic room is this bridal salon. Yeah. Why do you think he wanted to write about this? Well, I certainly don't think it was because he was interested in fashion. He wore <laughs> Hawaiian shirts every day. Um, I think that, you know, he was speaking to my mom about how he wanted to write a story about love for, that he wishes for his daughters and you know and where he should set that and you know she thought that there's something about a, a bridal gown that's really special and you know the relationship that you have with your family when you are picking out that you know that huge piece of clothing that you wear on such a big day is really special. Yeah, and, and I know that he did his research a lot by asking you and your sisters lots of questions about what yeah. it's like to be a girl growing up as a woman, right? Yeah, yeah. he definitely used us as his subjects quite often, which was, which was flattering in a way that he, you know, that he wanted to hear our opinions and, you know, how we, how we mm -hmm. thought it felt like to be a woman, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, you're doing the research, I suppose so, but it All really day. is a book about finding love and exploring relationships. What do you, in particular, relate to in this book? Well, I mean, the story, it's the magic room, and the subtitle is The Love That We Wish For Our Daughters, and even before my dad passed away, it was so special to me to know how important it was for him for us to find, you know, a very special person to spend the rest of our life mm -hmm. with. And, you know, I think he always was thinking about our weddings even before we were and how important that decision is. And mm -hmm. he wanted to be able to help, you know, facilitate it and make sure that he was always there for us through, you know, holding our hands to make sure that we made the best decision we could. Aww. So it's really, yeah, it was, it's a beautiful thing to think about, I think. Is there one particular story, because chronicling the lives of many women as they stepped into this magic room, the bridal salon, was there one that resonated with you the most? Yes, the story of Danielle, she, um, she actually lost her mom when she was younger. And the beginning of the chapter is so beautiful in the way that my dad describes her relationship with her mom. It just sounds like they had so much fun and they had such a special bond. And I sort of, I understood that relationship so well because I had that kind of bond with my parents. I still do with my mom and my dad. But, um, you know, mm -hmm. that was just beautiful. That, that was so fun to read because I, I could totally relate. Yeah, and, and meanwhile, you, you mentioned your, your parents also had a loving, very loving relationship as well. Yeah. What did you learn from their marriage and the example they set? I think that I learned that it's very important to find someone you love, but it's also very important to find a partner because my parents were totally, they raised us completely 50-50. They respected each other. They had, they had a great respect for each other that I think helps us live in a more loving, Mm -hmm. stable household. And I understand your dad would also leave notes around the house for you and your sisters as well. Something yeah. Something we can all take away <laughs> from, right? Yeah, it was cute. It was so sweet. I, it would always be like one-liners, like good luck on your exam, you know, just something to make sure that we knew that he was thinking of us. And your father's legacy? What do you think that is? I think it's just to be a good person and to just be kind and to be mm -hmm. someone that people want to be around and to be someone that people people love and people yeah. and someone that makes other people feel loved too is really important and I think that he he did a really good job of making the people in his life feel loved. Oh well I know I know he's very proud of you in this moment Thank right so now. Thank so you. nice to meet you Jordan. Great to meet you the too. best the book is thank called you. The Magic Room. Jordan Saslow, thanks again. Thank